محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله لا An honor from Allah Azza wa Jal to us A great honor my brothers and sisters A great honor to continue the job of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam As we all know and as we all believe There is no prophet or messenger after Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam Before sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah sent 114,000 prophet and messenger And sometimes Allah azza wa jal will send them one time an error More than two and three and four and Allahu a'lam Many prophets and messengers of what time an error? In Surah Yasin, Allah mentioned that He sent three messengers at one place. فَعَزَّزْنَا بِثَالِثِ As Allah says. Three prophets and messengers at one place. And every time a prophet will come and then go, Allah will replace him with another prophet or a messenger. And then that prophet or messenger will go, Allah Azza wa Jal replace them with another prophet or messenger. Until it was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Where Allah sealed the prophet and messengers with him alayhi salatu wa sallam And he said there's no longer prophet or messenger after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam But as we all know that world and the life continued And it's been 14 centuries now Who is responsible for this job? No doubt it's me and you We are all responsible for this job We are all responsible for this message We are all entrusted by Allah Azza wa Jal to fulfill the trust of Islam. And it's the duty of every single one of us. The duty of everyone that says, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, to call out others, to come back to this deen. It's the duty of everyone that says, I am a Muslim, I am a Muslimah, to call others to Islam. And the minimum way that we should call others to Islam is by acting like Muslims. Behaving like Muslims, looking like Muslims, acting like Muslims. People see us on the street say, I want to become like you because you're a Muslim. That's how our beloved Prophet Muhammad Wasallam was. When his wife was asked, كَيْفَ كَانَ النَّبِي كَيْفَ كَانَ النَّبِي How was Muhammad? How was the messenger of Allah? How was the Prophet of Allah? She said, كَانَ خُلُقُهُ الْقُرْآنِ كان قرآنا يمشي على الأرض محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم His manners were the Quran He was a walking Quran He was a walking Quran صلى الله عليه وسلم Walking Quran What does a walking Quran mean? That his actions were the Quran His speech was the Quran His thoughts were the Quran His behavior was the Quran His whole life revolves around the Quran And that's why people were attracted to Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wasallam Till this time Till the day of judgment Alayhi salatu wasalam And he is and no doubt He is our great role model He is our great example He is the one that we should look up to He is the one that we should follow He is the one that we should imitate. He is the one that we should act like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and no one else. No one else but him alayhi salatu wa sallam because he was a great example in this dunya and he's a way and a path to the paradise. He's a way of success in this dunya and a success in the hereafter. This is the man that we follow my brothers and sisters. But the unfortunate thing is We turned away from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we start to take others as example. We start to take the gangsters on the street as examples. We start to take the murderers as examples. We start to take the disbelievers as examples and neglect Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he is the chosen one by Allah azza wa jal to be our example. If Allah chose him, what better choice can you get? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him, What better choice can you get? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's my duty and your duty to follow him. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Especially when we say, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Wa anna Muhammad rasulullah. This shahada, what does it mean? That I just pronounce it on my tongue. That I believe Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And I don't follow him. I believe Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. And I neglect his orders. I believe Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the greatest to take another person as an example. It's my duty to follow him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's my duty to become another representative of Islam, another representative of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the surface of this earth. 
This is the duty of every single one of us. The great stands of Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala an, when sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passed away, and the believers were very, the believers were very shocked, the companions were very shocked to hear the news that the beloved and the most beloved man to them passed away. From among them, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who was so upset and shocked that he said, I don't believe Muhammad had passed away. Muhammad did not pass away. Muhammad went to speak to his Lord and he'll come back the way Musa went to speak to his Lord and come back. And he drew his sword and he said, anyone that says Muhammad had died or passed away, I'll kill him with my own sword. He was so upset. Same as the rest of the companions were. But Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Abu Bakr, a Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the one that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, if I really wanted to take a companion, it would have been Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the one that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said about him, everyone that had a favor over us, we paid him back, except Abu Bakr, we left it to Allah. It's too much to pay back. It's too heavy and great to pay back, so we left it to Allah. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu will stand up on the member of the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam and will gather the companions and they'll all come around and then Abu Bakr will say his famous word that's recorded to the day of judgment. Man kana ya'budu Muhammadan fa inna Muhammadan qad mat wa man kana ya'budu Allah fa inna Allah hayyun la yamut. Whoever used to worship Muhammad will admit the fact that Muhammad had passed away. And whoever used to worship Allah, Allah lives and never dies. Allah lives and never dies. Whoever used to worship Muhammad, Muhammad had passed away. But whoever used to worship the Lord of Muhammad, will Allah will live and never die. Whoever used to worship Muhammad, Muhammad had passed away. But the religion of Muhammad is still alive. Whoever used to worship Muhammad, Muhammad had passed away. But the Lord of Muhammad is still alive. Whoever worshiped Muhammad, Muhammad had passed away. But the duty of Muhammad is still alive. And the responsibility of Muhammad is still alive. And the spirit of Muhammad is still alive. And that spirit is the da'wah of Islam. The da'wah of Islam. And will stay alive to the day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep this alive to the day of judgment. And Allah azza wa jal will keep those who call to this Islam. Allah azza wa keep them alive to the day of judgment. A life in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue this da'wah alive. And this da'wah is alive by every single Muslim. My brothers and sisters in Islam, we are all responsible. Every single one of us is responsible. And we're all responsible for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we all have this duty upon us to call to Allah azza wa jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question us over this responsibility. Allah will question us over this responsibility. So think about this responsibility. Continue the responsibility of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. And be proud of it. Be proud of it my brothers and sisters. And don't let anyone, don't let anyone demotivate you or discourage you and don't let any wave don't let any wave that comes around from any corner to discourage you but continue your da'wah work and know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those uh, with him and Allah azza wa jal will always give support to those who give support to his religion and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will spread the Islam to the east and the west as he promised bi'izzi aziz aw dhilli dhalil with an honor of those who seek honor or the disgrace of those who seek disgrace May Allah reward you all for coming. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you firm and strong. And always ask Allah azza wa jal to keep you firm and strong. Jazakum Allah khair. Allahumma ja'alna minal ladhini yastami'una al-qawl. Fayattabi'una.